This morning I decided to head downtown. There are two downtowns in Osan, there's a new one and the old one. And today I'm visiting the old one. My initial goal was to come out and find a sticker booth. Korea has these booths where you can go and take some pictures of yourself and they get turned into stickers. And I thought initially I could come out here with Chagyong and find that place and get some stickers done. But she's a little bit busy, so I figured I'm gonna head downtown anyway and see what's up. And it looks like it's kind of dead right now. Because it's only 10 o'clock. Most of the shops are still closed. There's a lot of restaurants here. And for the most part right now, they're, they're not operational. This place used to be a restaurant just a couple of weeks ago. This is how quickly things happen, change, especially when it comes to like small shops in Korea. A lot of the small shops, they, they're here one day, the next they're gone. I assume this will be replaced by either a commercial building or somebody's gonna build a house. Probably not, most likely a business. But I'm curious to see what's gonna pop up over here. Cookie land. Songnamdong is good for this type of stuff. You get these little stores that specialize in all kinds of stuff and this particular one has just cookies and ooh, banana chips and stuff. All kinds of goodies. Dried mangoes, giant bags of popcorn. What is that? It looks like a bar of soap. But I think it's mochi, like the rice cake of some kind. Caramel and cream cheese. Sorry, is it okay if I record? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
time I came here with uh, Liam, I stumbled upon Namaskar just by pure accident. Unfortunately, it's closed right now, as everything else seems to be closed as well. I think most restaurants and shops open up at 11 o'clock. So Namaskar has to wait, unless I could maybe come back here at 11 o'clock and have some lunch. Uh, there are two Namaskars in Ulsan, as far as I know, um, and in one of them is in Bangojin, and I think that one's closing down which is unfortunate, but I imagine that they're not getting a lot of business. Ulsan has been losing a large chunk of its expat community. People are moving back home uh, for various reasons. There, was, there were a lot of expats working in uh, Hyundai in the uh, shipbuilding industry. And since that's kind of going under, I don't know, caving under the heavy competition coming from China, um, a lot of the expat engineers that were working here have gone home and so Bangajin is turning into a kind of a ghost town. Koreans don't really eat Indian food. People will venture outside of their own you know comfort food comfort zone but for the most part Koreans like to eat Korean food. There are very very small pockets of the population that will go out and have something something other than Korean food. So a place like Bangajin that probably thrived on the, the Western community when it comes to Western type cuisine like Namaskar is unfortunately not doing so well anymore at the moment. Less more. Less for more or more for less? Let's go shopping. Uh, body wash is good. Uh, Green tea body lotion smells good. Namja, namja smell up so. The uh, apple mango smell test. Yum. Joao. You go, you go, Maya. I have a big thing in the back. It took you a guy, yeah. Oh, wrinkle. Oh, wrinkle. That black part. I don't have any wrinkles. I uh, wrinkle up soil. Is soil? <laughs> <laughs> she says all people have wrinkles and this cream apparently removes wrinkles. Maybe I rub it on my eyes. There you go. <laughs> it's with gold. Well, this doesn't really happen very often, so why not? Smell like mango apple. Maybe next time I can avoid the Nature Republic. Seems a bit girly that shop. Now I'm stuck with a baggie, walking around with a baggie. Have you ever been inside the store that sells phone cases exclusively? Would you like to be? But in all of this, I haven't managed to find the sticker place. Which is kind of disappointing because that's basically what I came for here. That place makes pretty good sandwiches. They also make fruit shakes. I haven't found a photo booth. Well, I found a photo booth, but it wasn't a sticker one. Uh, it was just a regular one to make regular little pocket-sized pictures. I like Songnam Dong a lot better than Samsung Dong, to be honest. It's definitely older. The streets are older, the buildings are older, but it's got a bit of a, I don't know, it's got a more comfortable feeling to it. It's cozy, you could say. Samsung Dong feels very commercialized. Uh, Songnam Dong still has this kind of homely local feel to it, you know, with, with niches and nooks and there's side alleys and streets that are filled with little restaurants, even though they're not open right now, but they're all here. And when you come here, um, during busy time, during opening times, in the evening, really any day of the week in the evening, you'll find this place abuzz with people and young couples. In Samsung Dong, there's a lot of restaurants, uh, drinking bars and such. Here, this area is a bit more, there's a bit more shopping, there are knickknacks, there's kind of artsy places, like this place. There's a giant Spider-Man costume thingy hang, just hanging outside here. Piercing. <laughs> Bruce Lee, man. I don't know who that 
In addition to all the shopping, the regular shopping, you also have your street markets here where you can come and pick out. Problem with that is you need to have cash and I don't because I'm goofy. This place is called The Leader because it serves coffee in like these giant gallon size cups. They're massive. I stopped buying it because it's hard to finish. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. 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 So this is this is the boss. The, she's the owner of this. I don't know how She is the owner of this fish restaurant. Of, the, of this restaurant, of this place. And she asked me to be in a picture. So here we are in the picture. あ、ドンヨンさん。ね。なじゅね、なじゅね。あ、くら。ね。YouTube、YouTube あらよ。あ、もらよ。うん。見てみちな。なじゅね、あ、なんだしわよ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
<laughs> Korean dumplings are similar to a lot of other dumplings that are made anywhere else in the world. Almost every country I've been to has some kind of dumpling. Japan has the gyoza. In Europe, they've got the pierogies. Um, you can even eat pierogies in Canada. But the Korean dumplings are clearly made differently than a lot of the other dumplings anywhere else. Mm, very good. Quite greasy. The kebabs come served in this spicy sauce, I think. No, a little spicy, more sweet than anything else. Also very yummy. Only a few years ago you could find these street vendors anywhere in Korea, really. Um, every single neighborhood had like these five-day markets. And you could, every five days, you would have street vendors selling street food and, and anything else, uh, socks and clothing and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know, but five or four years ago, the government started cracking down on these places, particularly in the capital in Seoul, because, you know, you can set this up anywhere on the road and you don't really have to pay taxes if you set up in the middle of the street. So a lot of the businesses that were um, where these places set up across from had problems with it because you know you've got like brick and mortar stores selling food and they have to pay taxes for rental and all that stuff while these guys set up set up their business right across the street don't have to pay taxes there's no um, it's not as expensive to run it and so the government I guess decided to shut them down so maybe two years ago uh, there was an incident where just police were hiring these these you know strong arms to like go over and knock over these these vendors and basically destroy people's uh, livelihoods and the problem with that is that most of these places are run by like elderly people older women a lot of them are in their 70s or 80s and this is one of their main source of income if not the only source of income so because of that these places are becoming a lot more rare and you can only find them in certain locations. Like here in Songnamdong, the ladies are here every day. And you can come here any time of the week and have breakfast here every single morning if you like, if that's your prerogative. Unfortunately, the five-day markets are disappearing as well. Korea is becoming a lot more Sanitized. Mm. That's the word, sanitized. Okay, I'm just gonna eat my food. My assumption is, however, though, that since these stalls are here permanently, they probably pay some kind of tax fee. The fellow right next to me paid $15 for his meal, which sounds quite high. I don't know what he ate, but he's got two dishes, two small dishes sitting in front of him. One of them being <coughs> one of the kebabs and something else. If he paid $15 for those two dishes, that's quite steep. So we'll see what our bill comes to at the end. I'm all done. Moment of truth. Let's find out how much this, this is going to cost me. You all my help. Okay, so this little meal has set me back 5,500 won, which is a pretty decent price. Five dollars, I guess, the equivalent would be when you look at exchanges, five US, maybe six Canadian, I don't know, something of that sort. I'm thirsty though, maybe coffee will do. Let's find a coffee shop.
All right, that's it for today. Got my cheap coffee. I'm back at the car. So we're gonna call it a day. I got a class in about 45 minutes. So heading back to the hog one. Please make sure to subscribe. Always, always remember to subscribe. Leave a comment in the section below if you do have any questions. I'd love to know. For people who live in the city here in Ulsan, I'd love to know what your preference is in terms of downtowns. Do you prefer the old or the new? Songnamdong versus Samsandong. Or Samsandong versus Songnamdong, I should say. Um, and I will see you in the next video on Friday. Laters!